This is the ultimate portable shower. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to make this yourself, and I'm also offering to make this and ship it to you for just $100 more than the cost of the parts. More about that at the end of the video. For now, let's check out what this thing can do. It's perfect to toss in the back of your truck and have water on demand anywhere you go for hosing off your bike after a ride, or even washing your truck or your van. It's perfect to hose off a mower if you don't have water on site. You can water your garden. Or my favorite use is as a camp shower. It's perfect when you're out camping and need to rinse off. You can also make it into a sink which I'll show you how to do in another video. For now, let's take a closer look. You have a coiled hose that connects to a military grade water jug that I retrofitted with quick connect clips. These quick connectors are super handy. With the push of a button, you can connect and disconnect the hose without having to screw anything in. On the back, there's a 12 volt lithium battery pack that's simply Velcroed to the back with industrial Velcro. And with the push of a button, you can have water on demand. Let's look at the parts that are needed. First off, you have the jug. This is a little expensive on Amazon, but this is a really high quality water jug. Then you have the submersible water pump, the 12 volt battery, the female quick connect and the male quick connect, grommets, clear food grade tubing, a coiled hose that you'll cut to size, a hose head, hose clamps, a six millimeter 12 volt plug head, Velcro, and the tools you'll need are a drill, drill bits, a half inch bit mainly, a step bit, very important, a small screwdriver, a regular flathead screwdriver, pair of pliers, and you will possibly need wire cutters, and a drywall saw is what I used. So first you're gonna take the jug, you're gonna unscrew the cap that's on the top, and you're gonna then get your drywall saw out, and you're gonna saw off the threaded piece there, because you're not gonna need that. Then you're gonna take your step bit, and you're gonna widen the hole, and you're gonna need to size it up so the female bulkhead quick connector is going to fit right in there. You don't want to go too much or too little. And once you're done, take a piece of sandpaper and smooth it out a bit. Then you're going to flip it around and take your half inch drill bit and drill a hole for the wire to come through. You'll see a little bit later about that. Then you're going to take the bulkhead, the female quick connect bulkhead, and put the black rubber piece, line it up with the little notch you'll see on there, unscrew the top, stick it in from the top side, and then there's a threaded nut you want to put on the bottom side and tighten that into place. Then you're going to take your submersible pump, a screwdriver, a hose clamp, and an 18 inch piece of the tubing. You're going to take the tubing, put the hose clamp on, and then slide the end into the submersible pump. Take the screwdriver and tighten down the hose clamp. Make sure it's nice and tight. Don't over tighten, 
you could crack the plastic, but just keep it pretty tight so it's not going to fall off. Then you're going to want to get your hose built. So you're going to cut the coiled hose to whatever size you want. I kept it at six feet. Then you're going to take your hose clamp and the male quick connect piece and slide them into place and simply tighten it up with the hose clamp. Then you're going to just screw on your hose sprayer and there you go. Now go back to your jug and we're going to hook up the submersible pump into the barb that the bulkhead has sticking out of the bottom. So you're going to want to make sure that you put your hose clamp on first and then slide the tubing over the barb and then start tightening the hose clamp to get it nice and snug on there. But again, remember, not too tight. You don't want to crack the plastic, but you can tighten it down pretty good without cracking it. Then stick the submersible pump in the container and get ready to try to start fishing the black power wire through the hole you drilled in the back. Pull it through and then take your grommet and slide it over top of the wire and the threaded end should screw into the half inch hole that you drilled with your half inch bit. Tighten it down real nice and tight. And then get the other piece of the grommet and slide that over and tighten that, that down so it stays in place. Now you're going to build your plug end. You're going to take the 6 millimeter male plug and there's two wires sticking out. There's a brown and a blue on mine. The brown is positive and the blue is negative. Make sure you put them into the right ports and then you're going to take your 12 volt lithium battery. I put Velcro on the back to match the Velcro on the jug. Simply plug it in and stick it on the back side of the jug. Now you're ready to plug in your hose. Simply Plug it into the top and you're ready to go. Now let's look at the price. This thing is definitely not cheap. It's going to cost you around $200 to buy everything on Amazon and build it yourself. But you're going to have the highest quality portable shower out there. And if you wouldn't mind, if you're going to do this yourself and buy things on Amazon, if you could just click through the links in the description below, that would help support the channel. And also, I'd be happy to build this for you for an additional $100 and mail it to you. And if you're interested in that, just send me an email. I'll put my email in the description below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.